Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. On this video, I wanna give you my review of this new pair of boots I've been trying out. They're a rubber boot with a neoprene upper from a company called Tidewee. Now, right up front here, I wanna give you a disclaimer. Tidewee did send me these boots for free, and in addition, there's a coupon code down in the description. If you wanna buy a pair of these boots or something else from Tidewee, you can use that coupon code, get 15% off, and I will also get a slight kickback as well. Do wanna be clear though that Tidewee is not telling me what to say in this video, nor are they actually paying me to make this video. Now, in order to kind of show you uh, my opinion of these boots and to show you that I really do like them, and I do, spoiler alert, I wanna kind of give you my background and the process I've gone through to wind up on these boots and to be comfortable giving them a positive review. So, probably more than 10 years ago now, I picked up this pair of Muck Chore boots. And these boots have been really quite the troopers. Um, I've shown them actually in another video, uh, but they have lasted me a long time. I've worn them for work, I've worn them for hunting, I uh, delivered propane for a while and drove a truck and was out in the snow and the weather. I wore these a lot for that job. Uh, and they have been through quite a lot. They started to crack, they have some um, holes up in the neoprene upper here. And in my opinion, they're kind of just getting a little bit worn out. And I'd keep them around though for a backup. So probably about a year and a half ago or so, maybe two years ago, I made a video about these boots and I picked these up. These are called Schmuck boots. I know some of you laughed about the name, but at the time I picked these up for $27. They were lighter, they're more flexible. I actually found them more comfortable than Muck boots and I was thrilled. The only problem with these boots is they did have a little bit of a durability issue in the sense that they only really lasted me maybe about a year, year and a half of use in some turkey hunting and fishing and, and working and so forth uh, before they started to crack at some of the expected places down here where your toe bends and underneath where the sole bends. And then of course, the neoprene upper is always a weak point on any of these boots if you happen to catch it on something sharp. Now at the time, these boots were $27, but they were basically a a going out of business thing on eBay. The business was a failed business attempt, and so they were really cheap, uh, but you can no longer get these boots. If you could, I would certainly go buy these, and I'd buy several more pairs for $27. Um, sure, they had a little bit of durability issue, but for that price, I mean, you can't beat uh, that price and the comfort and just the lightweight boot that I got here. Unfortunately, I couldn't find them. So this summer, I went on a quest to basically replace those boots. Uh, I started off with a, bear, a pair of very similar boots from Cabela's, got them out of the box, and they were just a little bit too tight. Now, I'm a size 12, and oftentimes, as was the case with these Cabela's boots, they don't offer a size 12 and a half. So these boots were a little bit too tight, but looking at the sizing guide, I felt like the size 13 was going to be too big. So I ended up getting rid of those boots, selling them on Facebook Marketplace, and recovering my money. So I decided to try something else, and a friend of mine recommended Hisea boots, I think is how it's spelled. H-I-S-E-A, Hisea, high C, I don't know, whatever it is. So I decided to give those boots a try. Got them and initially felt like I was pretty pleased, but wore them around on a three-day turkey hunt, and by the end of that hunt, I was just fed up. My feet were sliding around side to side, they were sliding around front to back, my toes were hurting from sliding into the front of the boot, I would go down a hill and I'd try to side hill down if it was steep, my foot would actually slide and then the boot was flexible enough it would want to roll my ankle. It just was misery. And I also noticed issues with the seam here where the glue, uh, where the rubber meets the neoprene and I felt like the seam wasn't great there on those boots. So uh, frankly, I just wasn't that impressed and it may just be that I got a bad pair, maybe just didn't fit my feet, but for whatever reason, I wasn't impressed. So I decided to return those to Amazon. At that point, I was frustrated and I was really debating what to do. And I really considered going back and buying another pair of muck boots. Overall though, I never found the muck boots to be super highly comfortable and they're very expensive. These boots, I think, run over $100. I should have checked the price before this video, but you get into uh, their hunting boots, the camo boots, and so forth, and they can easily run $150, $175, even up to $200 for a pair of muck boots. I just wasn't interested in that. So I finally decided to give one more company a try. Now, initially, I was very hesitant to try these Tidewee boots. And the reason is, a couple of years ago, I tried a very inexpensive pair of Tidewee hip waders. I just wasn't that impressed or that satisfied. So I was really hesitant to try these. But I kept seeing reviews, things kept popping up, and you know, I decided, you know what, I will give them a fair chance. And from the moment that I put my foot into these boots, I have been nothing but impressed. One of the things I noticed as soon as I put my foot into the boot is that there was some pressure in the mid area of my feet. And at first, I wasn't quite sure what to make of that. But as I've worn them around, what I've realized is obviously any pair of rubber boots, you can't lace them up. And so on this pair of boots, 
they're a little bit, at least for my foot, they fit perfectly here through the midsection to keep my foot from sliding around. Now, if I'm wearing a super lightweight sock, some, some thin, sporty summertime sock, my foot does feel like it's gonna slide around a little bit. But if I'm wearing anything like a medium weight sock or like a nice heavy wool sock, my fit fits this perfect. And if it's really cold and I'm wearing maybe two layers of socks, maybe a medium sock and then a wool sock, uh, it, they're a little bit snug. But that's the perfect combination for me. All I have to do is wear a nice, uh, decently heavy sock or a mid-weight sock, and these boots fit really, really nice. And that's perfect. But if I need to wear a heavy sock and it's getting a little bit colder, I can absolutely do that with no problems at all. But I'm not having that really bad slipping around problem like I was having with some of the other boots that I tried, and certainly not having the problem of being overly tight like some other boots that I've tried. Everything looks really good as far as the glue around the seam. Uh, they got some nice tread on these, and you can see, hopefully on the video, they're dirty. I've worn them. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that the insole is very comfortable, has a little bit of squish to it. I've worn them hiking around. I've walked up and down some good-sized hills with them just to see how it performs. I've worn them in my saddle during this archery season, been on the platform, and I've noticed that I've been, my feet have been really, really comfortable in these boots. And I just have to say I've been really amazed really pleased so far. One thing you're going to notice over both of these other boots is that these are a little bit taller, maybe about two, two and a half inches taller. And for me, uh, that's a good thing. I wear these kind of boots a lot for uh, trout fishing. And I don't fish a lot of deep streams, so they're more comfortable to me than wearing a pair of hip waders. And this just allows me to get into the stream a little bit, maybe when I'm netting a fish, or if I need to cross, I can sometimes find a shallow place to cross. And having these boots just a little bit higher just gives me a little bit more a clearance to get in just a little bit deeper or cross a little bit deeper spot if I need to. Also wearing, wearing them in turkey season, a lot of times I'm dealing with wet grass, and this is just gonna come up a little bit higher and a little bit taller grass to keep my pants from getting soaked through. So actually, I've really been enjoying this taller boot. Now they do make this same boot in an insulated version, and I opted for the non-insulated version because primarily I'm gonna wear these boots in turkey season when it's, generally speaking, fairly warm. I'm gonna wear them for a trout fishing a lot, maybe working around the house. However, I really would love to try out the insulated version of these boots because I do like wearing a rubber boot even in deer season. And in the early part of October, these boots have been absolutely fine. But as we've gotten into some colder weather toward the end of October and November, my feet have been getting a little cold wearing these and I've had to switch over to a, a pair of insulated hunting boots. So I would really be interested to see what their insulated version of these boots are as well. But overall, I've been really happy and really pleased with these non-insulated version. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the price? How does it compare? Well. Uh, these boots run anywhere from 70 to 90. Unfortunately, if you're a bigger size like me, the price does go up a little bit. Um, and so that's where the price fluctuation is gonna come, anywhere from 70 to 90. And then if you want the insulated version, they have a 400 gram insulated version, and they go anywhere from, I think, uh, 90 to 110. So they add about another $20 per pair, depending on what you're looking for. Again, there is a coupon code down in the description. And if you use that code, go over to Tide, we use that code, you'll get 15% off your order as well. So I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Overall, like I said, I know Tide, we sent me these, but this is my honest review. I have been absolutely nothing but pleased wearing them around quite a bit over these last couple weeks during Pennsylvania archery season. So take it for what it's worth. Um, if you're interested, I'll put links down in the description, both to Tidewee and Amazon. I'll put the coupon code down there, which works on Tidewee, not on Amazon. Uh, but either way, whichever way you want to go, whichever way is more convenient for you to purchase, go ahead and check them out if you think you might be interested in a boot like this. Also, like I said, Tidewee sells some other boots. They sell a boot that has a, a lot higher rubber. They sell some uh, more higher insulated value boots. They sell hip waders, chest waders, all kinds of different stuff. So go over to Tidewee.com and go ahead and give them a look. See what you think. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this video, what you think of the boots. Until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.